Hey guys, so um, today I want to talk about the removal of the um, AMD Ryzen 9 3900X processor from your motherboard uh, because I think it's important for people to know when you actually is going to replace your um, stock heatsink. So over here I have the Noctua uh, U14S uh, heatsink. And uh, so, as you can see, I have all my parts ready, ready to install. But since I got the Ryzen 9 3900X, before I had them ship me the adapter um, that I need to put the heatsink from my old Intel to the new, excuse me, to the new AMD processor, now I need to remove the, uh, the stock cooler. So, and as you know, the stock cooler it provides adequate cooling, but it's really not a performance cooler. So it's going to get hot and any kind of heavy processing application, you can, you can hear the fan just running up like really loud. So hopefully the Noctua would probably fix the problem of the loud fan because it's super efficient and it's much larger cooling area compared to the stock. Okay. Um, the issue is the processor, once you install it onto the motherboard, is the heat sink is really, really hard to remove. Why? Because the thermal compound is kind of like glued, stuck onto the processor. So um, when you remove it, you really just have to be really careful and just wiggle around until it comes loose, okay? Do not ever just directly pull it out, okay? That's for sure gonna damage the, um, so as you can see, this is what the, uh, the heat sink looks like under. I mean, it's a decent stock cooler, but it's nothing spectacular like the Noctua is. So um, that is the reason I, um, I'm i going to use my Noctua. And uh, as you can see right now, I have the heatsink removed. So I am probably going to remove the uh, existing thermal paste because I have some better thermal paste available that I'm just going to use um, while I'm applying the, the heatsink over here. Okay. Also, another thing to take note is for a lot of um, aftermarket coolers, you will need to remove the stock plastic holding um, mounts uh, in order to put the new mounts for the new stock uh, for the new cooler uh, onto the motherboard. So um, it's really beneficial when you have a motherboard um, a motherboard base that you can actually access the area. Um, I'm not sure if mine can do that, but if not, uh, unfortunately, I have to remove every wire on here, remove the motherboard, and uh, just do it off uh, of the chase, okay? Um, but that's another note to um, to be really careful of when you are reinstalling uh, or installing any kind of aftermarket coolers, okay? So yeah, this video, I just want to uh, state that most important thing of do not ever just directly pull your heat sink out because uh, you're gonna pull the processor out as well and then damage the pins on the processor in the process. So be really careful and uh, good luck out there. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments section down below. I'd be happy to answer for you guys, okay? So thank you so much and uh, take care.